Have you been learning as much as I've been learning about the world? I've been reading about so many different topics and so excited to learn about the world. I've just been turning page after page after page. And I bet you're even writing and teaching a lot in your writing too and writing page after page after page. And so wait, today I want to remind you of something important. That it's important as nonfiction readers that we're thinking as we're learning to try to get super smart about our nonfiction topics. And so today I want to teach you that readers who want to get smart about their nonfiction topics don't let the pages fly by. Okay, readers, let's read the page together and then see if we can learn as much as we can from reading this page closely and carefully. Okay. Go ahead and read with me. This monkey hangs on a tree. It lives in a rainforest. Turn the page. No, not yet. Let's see if we can learn as much as we can from this page. Maybe as I'm moving my finger around the page and you're looking closely with me, put some fingers up as you're learning something new on the page. Here we go. Oh. oh my goodness, look, this monkey is hanging on to the branch with its tail and one arm. Huh. Oh, I'm also learning, <gasps> did you notice this? We thought maybe we'd learn about how monkeys hold on to the bottoms of one another, underneath, they hold on underneath. This monkey is holding on on top. And it's swinging from tree to tree. This is a northern Mariki monkey. Wow, readers, do you see all that we learned from the page? Let's try this on the next page together. Okay, here we go. Ready? Read the page with me. These monkeys sit on a tree. They live in a grassy, open place. Okay, ready? Study the picture carefully. Put some fingers up whenever you learn something new. Let's see. Whoa. The vervet monkey. Huh. What I'm noticing about these monkeys. Huh. Are you noticing that too? These monkeys are sitting on the tree. So not only do they swing from tree to tree, but they also sit on trees. I'm also noticing that this is more of like a flat, grassy area. It's open, right? Whereas on this page, they were in the trees. Wow. Readers, do you see how we did that? Do you see how we tried to squeeze all of the information that we could out of just one page? We read the page together, and then we used our finger to try to notice and learn all of the things that we could from the page. And then guess what, readers? You can even use that information to help you think about what will come next. So readers, as you go off to read, remember that you can take a sneak peek before you even start reading your book to learn lots about your topic. You can stop and study each page closely and learn as much as you can. And you can even use that information to guess what might come next as you're reading. Okay, readers, off you go.